When it comes to our results, we need to plot them in a graph. We're going to look at the relationship and see what we can find about their behavior. Now, using our trusty red pen to make it nice and clear, we've drawn our axes nice and big. Try and make your graph as big as possible when we do this experiment. It makes things easier to see, easier to understand. So we've kept our scale nice and simple. Because we're looking at different angles, and we know our angles can range from 0 to 90, we've just followed those scales. What we'll plot on there, and this will be our first graph we're going to plot, is air to glass. So our air to glass results, the first one we had was an incident ray of 14 degrees, a refracted ray of 9. So you go along to 14 on the bottom, our incident angles are being uh, plotted on the bottom, our refracted angles are going up the side. So you go up to 14 and 9 and you'd place your point. Okay. Second result we've got there is 28 and 19. So you go on to 28, you go up to 19, and you do this for all of your points, just to make sure that your graph is nice and clear. Okay, so I'm just going to fill these in as I stand here, and hopefully we'll find a nice pattern. Now remember, when you're doing your graphs in physics, it should be a straight line graph or a curve. We don't do join the dots might use that in biology, you might use it in business studies or other situations, we don't do that in physics. And our final point then, 73.43. Okay, now we can see there, it looks like it's a straight line but it's not quite a straight line. We do have a slight curve going on. So you'd plot this as a curve. Very rough and ready because I'm using my nice thick pen. Okay, so you'd have some kind of graph like that. That is actually a curve, it is not a straight line. 